So welcome to the short demo of the uh, UC Santa Barbara interactive campus map built by the uh, students from the Dar Department of Geography. Uh, just to start off, we have a number of layers you can click on. Uh, we have campus eateries, for example, indicates where you can eat on campus. Um, you can go down to Isla Vista restaurants if you're interested in going to Isla Vista and eating for lunch. Uh, we have other things such as recycling and compost centers, um, one of our sustainability layers. Uh, as well as uh, plenty of other layers, including the uh, bus routes that go to and from campus. So quite interesting there. Uh, if we go over to search, we can look for any number of buildings on campus. For example, if I want to look at the Davidson Library, um, we can go to the library here, click through, and it'll take us directly to the library. What's quite nice, actually, we've, we've added recently, or has been in there for a little while now, um, we can look at building interiors, first floor, second floor and so on. And this is for most of the campus we have the interior uh, levels as well which is great for um, multiple different functions including uh, the disabled um, persons. If we look at, uh, we turn that off and we'll go to search, we can search for a specific uh, a room, lo room locator for example, we can go to Ellison Hall which is where the Department of Geography is located It'll zoom us to that building. Uh, we can also look through the room numbers we have and then specifically pinpoint a uh, certain room that you're interested in, in this case uh, 1714. It'll actually zoom us to that room and tell us where that room is. Uh, a nice other function that we can do is actually click on specific buildings. It'll tell us the departments that uh, exist in these buildings, the room number or the building number, as well as a photo and in the future some uh, other photos of the building. Um, what's also quite nice is we actually have energy for that building. So this is energy usage, in this case hourly electrical data um, for the building. We have a total, the max, min, and the average. If we just expand that, uh, we can actually hover over the specific days and find out uh, total amounts uh, per kilowatt of uh, hourly electrical uh, usage uh, for that specific building. And the expanded uh, pop-up window also has the uh, larger building photos and again this will expand to include a lot more uh, user contributed photos as well. Uh, another nice feature we have is course locator. So if you're in a specific course and you're trying to figure out where that course is in terms of the lecture in the lab, you can just type in the course name. So in this case, 176A is a geography course. Uh, it'll take you to the theater and dance auditorium, which is where the course is, uh, is being taught in lecture. We can also add, just add the last name of a specific instructor, in this case, uh, Jennifer King. It'll tell us uh, where her office is uh, and where she's teaching specific classes. Uh, it's pretty useful as well for students that uh, would like to make it to a specific class or are interested where the the instructor's office hours are and that kind of thing. We have parking as well, so if you're interested in where specific parking lots are and which uh, parking lots are available to students, visitors, that kind of thing. Uh, legend indicating where uh, specific buildings are, what types of buildings are around, um, that kind of, uh, kind of option as well. And then you can share this map and you can actually contact the Department of Geography. Um, just to sum it all off, if you click through, you can get a bit more information about the Geography Department and the uh, students that have created this website through here. Thanks very much.